Hey, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. What I want to talk to you guys about is buzz baits. You know, buzz baits, you've got all sorts of different styles, uh, different blade types, different weights, clacker, non clacker, double buzz. It can get really confusing. What we want to do is not necessarily tell you what style is best for you, but just explain some of the differences between your various buzz baits so that you can choose what you think is best for you. It's always wise to carry a selection, carry a handful of different styles for different conditions. Uh, why don't we start off with double buzzers. This is one of my favorite styles. What you get out of a double buzz that you don't get out of a single buzz is extra movement, extra sound, and in some situations the ability to go slower because you've got two blades working against that water and it really allows you to slow down. But where a double buzz is really known or what they're known for is being able to just make a ton of commotion, throw a ton of water. They're going to come in different weights. Uh, the most common are going to be three eighths and half ounce and that really goes with all the buzz baits. Uh, if I personally had to choose one weight it would probably be half ounce. Uh, that's what I use most often because I can get a ton of distance out of it, but I can still slow it down pretty well. Uh, and I just get a lot of play, a lot of bites on that weight and, and at those retrieve speeds. Uh, but about the double buzzer specifically, as, it, as the name says, two buzz bait blades, you can get them with or without clackers. Uh, a clacker being, if you're not familiar with a clacker, a piece of metal in some fashion that hangs down and interrupts the spin of that blade and gives you extra sound. But the double buzz, with or without clacker, but what I really like about them is whether they have a clacker or not, you can bend the blades to get a clack out of them. So this one, my blades are separated quite a bit, so when they're spinning, they don't touch each other. This guy, my blades have been bent in, and when they're spinning, they intercept, hit each other, and will give you that extra sound. So you can take them, if you don't want that extra sound, you just spread them out a little bit, and now you don't have it. Now you've got just a regular buzz bait. So that's a great feature of a double buzz that you really can't get with the other styles. Now with a single bladed buzz bait, you still have a ton of choices. Absolute ton. Let me pick up these four different blade styles to start with. This one, I think it's a Persuader, I'm not even sure. Uh, but you've got two different, basically half blades that work together and you get some extra sound out of them because the two blades are rubbing. The next one is gonna be just your traditional two-bladed metal buzz bait, fairly quiet, fairly subtle. Then you've got two-bladed metal but with holes in it. What that style is going to do is throw a little bit more froth into the water. Some more bubbles leave a larger bubble trail for the fish to track down. Then the last style is going to be a plastic blade. This is a four-bladed plastic. This is probably my favorite. I don't even know if I should say favorite. Most versatile. Uh, because with the plastic blade, you've got a slower sink rate. So even in the half ounce, I'm able to run it fairly slowly on the surface. You can get them with or without a clacker, uh, but they're also extremely subtle if you go slow. If it's a slow retrieve, extremely subtle in the water. But if you speed it up, it'll start, because it's four bladed, start throwing a lot of water, making a lot of commotion. So it's an extremely versatile buzz bait. And a lot of companies don't make a plastic blade. Uh, this particular one is a DNM. I think it's a slow roller. Comes with a clacker. A lot of the time I cut that clacker off because it's pretty loud. Uh, but that's a great, great buzz bait. And then again, showing you that clacker. This one's a revenge with the clacker. This is a combination of a two-bladed metal with the clacker, with holes in the blade. So you're, you're able to go pretty slow, but you're leaving a great bubble trail and you're getting all that extra sound out of the clacker. That's a killer option. So what I wanna do is show you some of these different retrieves, because there are a ton of different baits here, 
in the water, I'm not going to tell you which one is better than another because really I don't think there's a right answer. They're all different. They're all going to work differently on different bodies of water. But hopefully we can save you some time, save you some money by showing you how these different baits run and how they sound and then you can choose the baits that are best for you. This is the double buzz with the blade separated so that it's quiet. This is the double buzz with the blades pushed together so that they're clacking off each other while they run through the water. This is just a standard single blade buzz bait, metal blade with no clacker. This is a single blade buzz bait with the holes in the blade so that the water's churning and leaving a bubble trail. This is a single blade buzz bait with the holes in the blade and a clacker. This is the four bladed plastic buzz bait with no clacker and I'm going to be going fast with it. This is the four bladed plastic and this time I'm going to run it as slowly as I can. This is that persuader with that double metal blade with a really unique sound. Way 